The IFS this morning has said that without spending reductions, your tax cut plans may exceed the Treasury's fiscal headroom. Would you be comfortable with breaking your own fiscal rules? My plans do not exceed the headroom. I'm very clear that they are about £30 billion worth of, worth of costings, and those are affordable within our current headroom. But what is not affordable is putting up taxes, choking off growth and ending up in a much worse position. And many, many international bodies, including the OECD, say that our current policy is contractionary. It's likely to lead to a recession and we simply cannot afford that. What I want to do is put money back into the pockets of hardworking people. I'm here in Peterborough today meeting families who are struggling with the cost of living. That's why we need to reduce national insurance. That's why we need to have a temporary moratorium on the green energy level to reduce people's fuel bills so we can help families, we can grow the economy and we can grow those tax revenues in the right way. Now, you've also said that over the last 20 years, economic policy has not delivered for Britain. For 12 of those 20 years, we've had Conservative Prime Ministers. For two of those 20 years, you yourself were in the Treasury. Uh, was that policy that you presided over wrong? We have to recognise that we are in one of the worst global crises for a generation, the Covid crisis. And now is the time to think about how we do things differently and how we help our economy grow after this really difficult economic shock. That's why I'm advocating tax cuts, but I'm also advocating broad reform to enable more investment into Britain, to enable more opportunities, to enable more businesses. We've left the European Union. We need to get those laws off our statute books. We need to do things differently and we need to unleash all the potential of the British people. That's what I'm determined to do. Do you take any responsibility for the lack of growth when you were a Treasury Minister? When I was a Treasury Minister, I was in charge of public spending. I controlled public spending effectively. We still haven't done enough, though, on unleashing the potential of the British economy. And that is about having lower taxes. It's also about making sure that we've got the right uh, reforms in our economy. We can speed up projects like uh, railways, roads. We need to be faster at doing things and we need to look at the best in the world and make sure we're matching and exceeding them. Do you think that your opponent in this race, Rishi Sunak, could he win an election as a Tory Prime Minister? I think the problem is that if we continue with our current economic policy, which is forecast to lead to a recession, it will be very hard for Conservatives to win an election. What voters will judge us on is delivery. Are we seeing the growth? Are we seeing the opportunities? Are we seeing the spades in the ground? And I'm somebody in every government job I've done, I've got things done, whether it's at the Foreign Office with our tough sanctions regime on Russia, whether it's at trade with the trade deals with Japan and Australia. I'm somebody who pushes through, gets things sorted out and gets things done. That's why I want to be Prime Minister. This is a critical time for our country. We need bold action. We are in economic difficulty. The whole world is in economic difficulty. It's not time for business as usual. You've talked in this campaign about governing as a true Conservative. Has the current Prime Minister not been? We set out a fantastic manifesto in 2019 about unleashing the potential of everybody in Britain, about levelling up. The reality is we've had Covid, which was a massive shock. We've delivered Brexit. We've delivered the vaccine. But now is the time to realise the promises we made in that manifesto because people who voted for us, who voted Labour all their lives, want something different, they wanted something new, they want more enterprise, they want more investment. That's why we've got to keep taxes low and that's why we've got to do those reforms so that we can realise that post-Brexit potential of Britain. And just very finally, can a Prime Minister win back trust from the British people if they've received a fixed penalty notice for breaking their own Covid rules? The thing about me is what you see is what you get. I've always been honest with people about what I can deliver. I don't make promises I can't keep. And I will completely level with the public about, first of all, how tough things are going to be but also the hope that they can have about the future because I have a positive vision for Britain and I will be helping families immediately 
with the cost of living. Thank you.